most of the people that they're using indicators this time, especially with B75, is giving them too much problem. Because if you can check market the way it's, it's going, market is arranging. You see, if you go to H4, you understand black like market for like a few days, market is playing on one place, it's not going far. So, okay, when you see you stuck on something, just try to create a new strategy. How are you gonna start using? And uh, if you check, like, I'm just gonna give you guys a typical example. Like, uh, if you can check from this level, this uh, low to this high. This is the range. This one here is the range. If you can check, this one is the range. Even that we are inside the big range, but I'm just showing you like a quicker one on M15. You can see this is a range. Then when markets uh, start buying from this level, as you can check, market start buying. Market gets up this. Can you check this level? Market did what? Market drop. When market drop, let me move these things aside at least. Can you check this uh, black candlestick, the one that remain here? The one, the one that remain here. So from this black candlestick, the one that remain here, market rally up. Where was the target when market start buying from this level? Because if you can check, this one is the last candlestick, like this uh, algorithm for uh, the reviews before they remove this uh, I. Then market is what? Market come back down again to test this level. Then buy. What is the next target of like where they are targeting? Because this is the previous liquidity level. So this was the previous liquidity level, what they've been targeting. Check what happened from this level. Market did what? Get on this liquidity bot. Then from here, from here, market gets on this, this liquidity. Market didn't remove this liquidity, as you can check. Market gets on this liquidity, didn't remove the liquidity. But one thing you need to understand is, uh, can you check where market, uh, why market is that buying, uh, selling again from that level? Because this is a sort of like a, a resistance from this one. See, markets come back. First time, get on this uh, other block here. Because this is the last uh, candlestick. One thing you need to understand is uh, which one is the last candlestick that they're using before removing a low. If you can check, they use this, la this one. This is the last candlestick. They use like uh, a bullish candlestick before they remove this low. Here. They use this one before they remove this low and check when market return back market return to a you can see market return to that zone there then bought again it bought just with only this one candlestick goes up then drop again check again what happened from this level this zone here. you see what is happening this also was the last candlestick that they used before they run this liquidity level here up market return again to that level then goes up if you zoom again if you zoom 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 again because you must zoom out if you zoom again can you check this candlestick here this is also the last one they use before they remove this uh, low here they remove before they remove they remove uh, this low here so you can check market return again back to that level to come and test check how many times it test that level so we test market break the level come down come down to which level this is the level that market come back this is the level where market come back can you see market come back on this zone then start uh, uh, start uh, buying selling buying selling then we pull back again we pull back to each candlestick this one here that is where we pull back then we buy to go and clear which, which one to go and clear this uh, liquidity level. So this is the logic that they're using like every single day. And every time when you see market break a liquidity level like this one, they break this liquidity level, they create a new eye. What do you expect? We expect a sell from <coughs> that level. As you can check, market starts selling. Start selling now, it's respecting all this zone. So when we are selling, where is the market going? Market is going to a liquidity zone. Even if you see market is buying on A in between, market is buying in between. What is the big target? The big target is this liquidity, the one that is down. If you can check, I send the picture in the morning to show you guys what is the market is going to do. Maybe even if I didn't give an explanation, I expect you guys understand what is going to happen. Here, it was just a pullback. 
then to get a, to get a re-entry because if you miss an entry this side, you're gonna get another entry from this one. This is how I apply my FIBO to get a retracement level. Where I get my trace, uh, retracement? Check the snap entry. You know, seven seven nine, uh, seventy point five. I get my entry there. Then you place your trade. Where is your target? My target is down. And here, if you want to so, if you want to so, you can uh, you can even apply your FIBO. Where, where where is the last the last uh, movement? that before they goes up this is the last movement Let's check something check something here where did the market start buying market start buying from the ot entry this is the ot entry you can see and where is going to be your first target your first target is on this uh, fe fe that is your first target you use you, you buy from here you collect your profit if you want to sell again you can sell from there because you know market is going to come back check how many times market come back to this one then Boom, market shoot up. This is the same story that I've been telling you guys. Just try to find where it is the liquidity. Where is these people that are trying to put their liquidity? Check again this side. Market is coming for this liquidity. Because they, they want to they wanna remove this law here. They want to remove this law. So if they remove this law, like from my expectation is like, maybe something like this can happen. Just move a bit here. Remove this law. Then from here, maybe we're gonna buy again to come. Where is the target? The other target, the other target is to remove this lot, this eye. So you see that. So when you're trying to explain, it's not like okay, we're gonna try to be the perfect, the perfect person who understand the market properly. You know, it's just we follow the logic that is behind the market and what is making the market move. And if you understand like this binary stuff, that the simple stuff that that uh, uh, did what. Uh, accept any technical analysis, any technical analysis, as long as you understand where is the order block, where is the, the fair game value, where is the breaker, where is the mitigation, where is the liquidity, and then on the external, you know, those kind of stuff. Sharp guys.